Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here and welcome back to New World. Today we are starting off just where we left off last time and we're going to head over to the east here. And we're going to take a look at Taste for Revenge, Recover Stolen Spices from Buccaneer Creek and Buccaneer Falls. And then we're going to head over here further uh, to the east and do a couple of missions for our faction. See if we can pin both of them. There we go. And so, yeah, we're going to head to this ship marked here first. So we're probably going to try to cut across country here and see if we find anything interesting along the way. After that, we will be heading back up to Windsward. We'll turn in the quest that we have there, and then we will go back over to Everfall. We'll spend a little Azoth to do that. Shouldn't be too bad. And while we're early here, I do want to say thank you to all you guys who leave comments on the videos, leave me tips and things like that, and share your own experiences and thoughts about the game. I really do love hearing from you guys, so yeah, thank you. I just know that on a town board somewhere there is a quest probably to get more turkeys and more rabbits that we don't have. And it kind of hurts me to let them all run away from us. Oh, very nice. A lot of hemp here. We are going to grab this. So we can turn it into linen, which we need for armor crafting. Probably very useful for other things as well. I imagine it would be useful to craft uh, light armor. Sometimes I wonder if it's really that beneficial for us to be wearing heavy armor while soloing. Or if we'd be better off with a better dodge roll. But so far I haven't really experimented with different armor types. We've been wearing as much heavy armor as we can equip since basically the very beginning. I kind of wish that you could put skill points into your armor as well, kind of the way that you put skill points into your weapon types. That would be really cool. Alright, so we need to defeat 12 of these guys, and then we are picking up 7 stolen spices. Looked like we missed that one, but it did hit her. As surprising as that is. almost painful to be using these weapons because these enemies are strong against them. That's why we're getting the blue damage numbers. With the rapier, I feel like our best bet is just to spam our quick attack, unfortunately. 
Flourish and Finish. Flourish performs an attack, knocking back enemies. Pressing Light Attack at the end of Flourish will continue this ability by automatically performing Finish. Finish lunges forward, consuming all Rapier Bleeds on any target hit, and dealing 110% of their damage immediately. Okay, that seems good. I like that it has some kind of knockback. Alright, we didn't get to see what it looked like there. We got knocked back in the middle of the trying to execute the ability, which put it on cooldown, but we didn't actually get to use it. Sad when that happens. I didn't get the light attack off there. Looks like he just put some kind of buff on himself. There was the light attack, the lunge after the ability. Pretty cool. Let's get our food buff going. I noticed that has just recently fallen off of us. Wakey, wakey. It's not too hard to execute. You have to remember to hit that ability and then basically if you go back to spamming your light attack, you'll get the lunge off. Ouch. Oh, I guess that's up in the second story, okay. Makes sense. Just shining through the floor and everything. Now the question is, is there an outside staircase to get up there? Looks like it. Okay, we've been encumbered. We have to do something about that before we start getting respawns here. Let's salvage a bunch of our gray weapons. I'm kind of tempted to... Because we can get slash damage with the axe. What if we go Warhammer and axe for a little bit? And we go back to our strength build. Can we do that from out in the middle of nowhere? We can into level 20. Okay, perfect. Okay, there's that. I don't know if there's any point to put... Uh, points in dexterity, which is the secondary on the weapon. Let's just put some points in the constitution. Let's get that and let's get back into this here. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and finish this up. We'll keep going into strength here, I think. Oh, look at that. We got a Warhammer that looks like an anchor instead of like the the same Warhammer we've been getting the entire game. That's cool. It's nice to see that there are different weapon uh, graphics. 
The axe still looks like very typical axe. Alright, we need to find four more of these stolen spices. I haven't been having a lot of luck at the finding the boxes quest recently. I, I tend to overlook them, I guess. Now, when they're glowing blue, it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, we can kind of see that there probably aren't any in that house right there. Otherwise, we'd see them through the wall. Ouch. Let's try to head down the road here into this abandoned fort. Yep, I missed the Warhammer. It's kind of been my favorite weapon so far. The hatchet was also really fun, as was the sword and shield. Those are kind of my top three. Unfortunately, they are all strength weapons. I didn't mind the musket. The musket was interesting. I didn't like that all of its abilities were just buttons you would press to load your gun with, like, special armor. I would have liked to see the abilities, you know, actually be abilities that do something. That would have been, like, just all around better, I think. And maybe the other tree is more like that. The other tree had traps. The problem with the musket, obviously, is like keeping all the ammo that you're going to need on you during an outing. Which sounds easy, but for someone like me who often forgets little things, um, yeah, it becomes a problem. Alright, only two more to go. And again, these guys are weak against impact damage, so having the hammer out here is great. Uh, the the thrust damage uh, that the spear was doing and the rapier, uh, that really wasn't cutting it against these guys. Oh, you're... we fought one of you before. I don't know if it was this exact guy. But he has a lot of health, apparently. This one has a lot of health. Ouch. Okay, we need to back off a little bit here. Let's get a potion going. That was a big whiff that we didn't need. There we go, at least we got him. In th at the end of the day, he actually didn't hit too hard when he did hit us. Having to fight him upstairs here was a little bit of a pain. We probably could have taken him downstairs. Sometimes enemy pathing in this is a little bit weird. So whether or not he would have made it downstairs or got stuck on the staircase, I don't know. Okay, yeah, run out there. That's totally fine. We need one more um, sack of spices.
It's kind of weird to me that these guys need to sleep, but I mean, I guess they're still alive. They're not quite undead or something. Or maybe they're like vampires and they like to sleep during the day. I, I really don't know. Alright, that's everything we need from this area. So let's see if we can take the road out here to the east, into the mountains, and head over to these faction board quests. So we're going to go this way. All right, let's go off-road a little bit here. Ah, uh, there is some iron nearby. Our capacity is not great. It just isn't great. Let's go ahead and salvage a couple things. I think we are going to stick with strength, strength weapons for now, excuse me. Which means we're going to hold on to the shield for when we get another one-handed sword. Uh, these are heavy gloves that are actually better than what we have. I'm interested to see what it looks like. It looks like a white shirt. Who would have thought? Honestly, I didn't. And the hat. What does the hat look like? Okay, it looks exactly like the icon. I appreciate that. I appreciate an icon that is going to accurately tell me what a piece of armor looks like. Now we know. Uh, let's see, iron. Sh Whoa, look at that. Just popped right into existence. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how iron is born into the world. At least into the new world. Alright, good. Our capacity is actually pretty good after breaking a bunch of that gear down. Doesn't look like there's any more iron nearby though. So let's keep heading east. I just love the hammer for all of its stuns and for the knockback. I think that's really great. Alright, exactly what are we doing here? Let's see. Search chest for sealed documents. Oh yeah, this is the... Okay, th we've tried this one before. Hunt Scratchy. Okay, let's see if we have any better luck uh, today than the last time that we did these.
someone left a bunch of dead pumas, like almost comically <laughs> gathered up on this ledge. It shouldn't be funny. It shouldn't be funny. And yet, here we are. Uh, that being said, they also grabbed the iron that was nearby here when they left these skins on the ground. We'll take them to get a couple of easy levels for our tracking and skinning. Then we'll jump down into the cave here and see if we can find whatever Scratchy is. I have no idea. I'm assuming it's some kind of animal. But like, yeah, this, this can't be the right place though. Usually the quest markers are pretty specific about where they want you to be. So maybe we need to pay more attention to that in this case. We need to somehow get over there. Which the terrain is kind of like naturally not wanting us to do that. All right, we're in the lo right location, Scratch Rock Burrow. We need to find the last chest and whatever Scratchy is. Let's see if we can come up over here on this side. Alright, there is the last crate that we needed to pick up, so that just leaves the very last thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is scratchy. Okay, well now we know. Now we know exactly what we're dealing with. Let's let's go in. Let's get a food buff going. I feel like we might get hit pretty hard here. Ouch. Definitely one of those times when I wish we had a better dodge roll. Can we pull him out of the cave? Yes we can, but do we want to? Okay, he just like basically smashed us into the ground then proceeded to pounce on us a lot. Yeah, that was brutal and now we are in a very bad spot. Oh, we've also pulled a puma. So yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun here. Yeah, we might die here, which is sad. Sad because I don't really know where we have a bind point set at. Oh. 
I'm just gonna pull every single puma in the entire zone while trying to escape, I realize this. Okay. Yeah. That might have been okay if we hadn't pulled the puma. Why can't we do this? Oh, there we go. Oh, we don't have any of the supplies that one would need. Let's take a couple of deep breaths and then we will <laughs> make a camp and go back. I'm really glad we didn't die. Okay, so that's good. We're going to have to be really careful about, we're going to have to clear out the ads that are outside and then we just have to make sure that we just somehow don't pull the one that we pulled. I don't know if he was inside the cave or exactly where he came from, but it definitely screwed us over. I don't think it's going to be an easy fight even without that. It seemed like it was kind of back and forth, but I feel like we could have had it if not for that puma. And then every subsequent puma that we pulled. Okay, so here's Puma number one. Oh, that was a good way to start off. Just a huge whiff. I realize that most of what I'm doing is running, but it just feels like absolutely necessary to run most of the time. Yeah, like right now we're about to get murdered. He seems to be getting more and more vicious and unstoppable as time goes on here in the fight. Not sure if that's just like a perception thing on my part or exactly what that is. Kind of waiting for our health and waiting for potions. All that good stuff that you need to survive. Waiting for abilities to come up just to get some quick damage in and then we will get out of there. And we'll keep doing our little circle thing here which seems to be like somehow keeping us alive. It's not the most exciting thing to watch but... Oh that worked. There we go, okay. Yeah. That was something. Oh hi, here's the puma. At least he came late to the party this time. It would be the first time the respawn rate did not screw us over. What did we get? Oh, look at that. We got a blue frost gauntlet from that rare. Well, that's really cool. We're going to save this to try some in intelligence weapons uh, later on. Very nice. Oh, did he skin the bear? Yeah, he, he probably skinned our bear, didn't he? Uh, what else? Oh, no! <laughs> he skinned our bear. We needed the skin for the freaking quest. 
Oh, you have to be kidding me. Oh, no. Well, you know. That figures, right? You can't stand there. You gotta get on that skin right away. Otherwise, some other player is gonna come along and steal it. Let's go ahead and skin him right away. Yeah, no, you're not going to get in here like the last guy and skin this boy because he's mine. Yep, go skin the, the cougar in the corner. That's that's fine. But you're not skinning Scratchy. All right. Good. Good. It's done. Uh, we could recall to the inn here. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that. I actually want to try Intellect Weapons pretty soon, because after we pass level 20, we're going to have to pay to respec our attributes and whatnot. And I don't know what it's going to cost, but it's not going to be free, so... I'd like to at least try them before we have to pay that cost. Nice, nice, nice! Oh, I can smell that spice from here. With a good meal in the works, that's I say we perfect. The pirate stronghold is east, led by that jerk. I'm just kind of grabbing these side quests, uh, you know, because if we're near them, we'll do them. But I, I don't have a lot of interest in the little dialogues that come with most of them. I mean, it's an innkeeper giving us a quest, so. My blade, my life. Choose your next. Completed two of these. We'll just grab the next two. Any rewards we want to grab here? We could upgrade our hand slot, which I think we just grabbed an upgrade. Uh, what about our boots? That would be a pretty big upgrade. That would be comparable to what we already have. Hmm, what about like a helmet? What about a helmet that doesn't look like our helmet? We could do that. There we go. It's, it's a different look. It doesn't have the weird nose guard on it. I appreciate that. Uh, we are going to probably want to dump our iron and stuff uh, in the bin here. And, uh, well, let's keep this with us. We have a life staff with us. I want to take this back out. I want to salvage this. And I want to put the sword back in our number one slot for now. Equip our shield here that we have. 
There we go. We'll hold on to the life staff and the rare ice gauntlet. Because like I said, I, I do want to... I'm tempted to maybe do it now. I feel like I, I obviously should have done it earlier, right? Maybe we'll hold off a little while. I feel like we're, we're at this point we're going to have to pay for it, right? So maybe we just hold off. Okay, let's see. We have a couple other side quests we could do here, but I'm, I'm kind of interested in getting going on the continuation of the main story quest. So, should we do some crafting here first? Probably. Probably not a bad idea. We do have a quest where I need to keep some ore in its like natural state, and I keep forgetting about that. Probably not a lot we can do here. Really need a quick way to level up our armor crafting, but I don't know if there necessarily is a quick way. And what else do we have? We have a lot of, of fiber, I think. Let's make all the linen. Yeah, like if we wanted to make light armor, we'd probably have a lot of resources to do that. Not exactly what we're working on, though, is it? Uh, do we just grab these side quests? All right, then. That bear I mentioned? He's mauled several villagers lately. Exactly. Didn't, didn't we just hunt down so a bear? Want to bring a few friends. Yeah, I, I wish I had brought a few friends. So have to track him down. While I perform experiments on these sort Harplas homestead has just recently been corrupted. Likely spread from the west. I'm told the corrupted there are covered in some kind of sludge yeah she's again she's sending us back i think to deal with that same exact bear that we just took out for the faction quest that's a little bit weird let's fast travel over to everfall I do want to get out to the main story quest today, and it does look like it's going to be quite a run. So let's go ahead and let's get started on said run. What's going to be our best route? We might want to take these side lanes
And maybe just do kind of a straight shot from there, see how long it takes us to go about 800 meters. We're probably not going to come across a lot of uh, iron opportunities in this area. We could climb over the mountains, but it's probably a little bit smoother just to take the road. Can't get that yet. Shock bulb is level 30 harvesting. Not really sure what this is, but we're probably not going to be able to get it. Uh, yep, that requires mining at level 50. It's been a little while since we've had a sword out. Reacclimate ourselves here a little bit. We're being hunted by a drab wolf, but it's okay because we do need him for a faction board quest. Even though it's not tracking it for anything in this area. That happens a lot with the wildlife. Search for the mysterious woman who can communes with the angry earth. Visit the spirit shrine in Everfall. Okay, that one is marked as optional. We're going to have to fight through these guys, I think. Okay. Excuse you. Okay, I remember a little bit of this, so maybe I did this quest in the beta as well. I remember this place. Uh, because of how obviously twisted up it is. Can we go in here? We can. Nothing really to do in there. You tread on what was once hallowed ground, human. Whatever your purpose coming here, it is misguided. Go back to your settlement. Well, we came to speak with you. No surprise. Your kind are always speaking, never listening. Hm. That is why so few of you can hear the whispers of the angry earth. Fair. And there's you level 21. You are wasting your time and mine. What this land needs is fewer humans, time to heal, and a working Azoth fountain. This one seems to be blocked. Maybe we can help each other. 
I am quite familiar with the true meaning behind the words when humans offer to help. You have arrived at a fortunate moment, however. Our needs outweigh our distrust. Just tell me what to do. The flow of Azoth that feeds this fountain comes from the caves nearby, where I suspect it has become blocked. Get it flowing again, and I will at least listen to what you have to say. Alright, sounds fair enough. Uh, for our points... I really just want to keep pushing into strength, I guess. We hit our first constitution goal, so all health consumables are 20% stronger. Increase your max health by 10% of your physical armor. Ooh. Let's go for the next point of strength first. I feel like we missed out on that optional objective because we talked to her first. Is that true? Is that true? Because that would be unfortunate, but it, it does seem like that's what happened. Very cool looking. Even if we don't know exactly what it is we're looking at. So yeah, I remember this. There are going to be these tendrils that come out of the ground. And we need to fight them. And they were kind of tough. I had... Oh yeah, here's one right here. So let's see how we... Oh yeah, we got to dodge his little spit. He's also going to like jab at us, I think. Maybe we can just like get behind him here. That actually seemed to work pretty well. Not sure what that guy's deal is. Clotting Carapace. I'm assuming that we want to destroy this. Well, that didn't really work out how I wanted it to. I'm also not a big fan of our corruption resistance continuing to go down. But what are you going to do? Here's another one of these guys. Definitely one of the more unique enemies we've fought so far, these corrupted tendrils. Just, yeah, keep just pounding us down. Can we block this? We can. Alright, and let's get our last one over here. Ouch. I am aware that we're just getting beat the crap down here. We're trying to get out. Oh, it's not working. What a surprise. Sometimes having an ad, like a single ad, is very detrimental. Especially when your character can't stand up. Alright, we lived. Let's eat and get that going. Okay, we can double up with the water and the food. That's good to know. And now we need to destroy the clotting carapace. We've already destroyed one. We apparently did not get any retroactive credit for that at all. And the problem now is that we've aggroed everything. We've aggroed, aggroed every single thing here and we're going to have to run all the way out. 
And because the respawn rate is so stupid, we're going to have to fight our way all the way back in, which is going to become incredibly annoying. And yeah, I definitely remember this quest now from the beta. And how much fun it was. Look at that train. That's going to go on for a while. We'll set our recall point there for if they murder us. If we can kill some of them back here, let's just kill them back here. We're going to have to kill them anyway. Okay, he's resetting. Yeah, and the thing is, I'm going to have to fight this thing again, which is going to suck. Not as bad if we don't have an ad with it. We can block most of what it does. I'm hoping we can get this one down before we run out of corruption resistance. And now we click quickly, quickly, quickly run out of here. Wait a minute, what was that? Was that silver? That was silver. Oh, we got lucky there for a minute. I would love to get this silver. Yeah, we're going to try to get all this silver now that I'm actually looking at my compass and seeing uh, how much there is. Alright, I think this is the last one, and then we can actually get out of here.
I have to say, like, some of the noises these guys make are truly disturbing uh, to listen to over and over again. Well, the fountain is running again, so you've either been blessed with good fortune or you actually followed through. I'm curious, however, what caused the blockage? A crap ton of corruption. Corruption blocking the flow of Azar through earthly passages. Impossible. There nope. must be another explanation. Definitely but possible. I will look into the matter myself. You do that. You have done your part, so I will. You have done your part, so I will hear what you came here to say. But I warn you. I have no sympathy for the plight of humans in the battle against corruption. Oh, great. It is not our fight. Well, we need a seed of the angry earth. <laughs> Do you even realize how much you ask? Not at all. How I much don't. your kind has already taken? The angry earth will want to know the truth. Do you plan to use this seed to fight corruption? Yes. You are honest, aren't you? Good. We loathe deceit. Perhaps on that account, I will make your request. But tell me, do you know why humans fall to corruption, but the angry earth does not? Uh, no, not really. Because corruption's power feeds the ego, your kind's great weakness. Angry earth has no ego, and that is how it offers protection. Try this tincture recipe. I believe it will help you. All right. Acquire water, we got. Acquire petal kelp, we have. Acquire rivercrest stem. Rivercrest stem. I have no idea where we would uh, even begin to look for that. And the cool part is, the super cool part, is that it doesn't seem to be on the map. It says that it's pinned. But I'm not seeing it. This is some kind of resource. Uh, can I just buy this on the auction house? Is that something we could do? Either way, guys, we are going to take a break here for now. Let me know if you know anything about Rivercrest stems. Or where we can get them. The other two things we've collected. And that I have not seen and I don't know where one would acquire it. So yeah, let me know. As always, guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. I really do appreciate all the support. It means the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in New World really soon. Bye now.